I just figured out an insane strategy to improve rapidly at any version of Fortnite. My name is Storm Ranger, and on this channel I show you how to get better at Fortnite, how to win in Fortnite, and how to improve at all sorts of the Fortnite things, so be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on anything, and help me get to my goal of 50,000 subscribers, let's try and hit it by the end of the year, that would help me out a ton. Also guys, just create a second channel for more casual types of videos, which you can subscribe to by clicking the first link down in the description. Anyway, I really don't want this video to be some clickbaity thing. I never want to be one of those YouTubers doing fake giveaways, asking you to like the video in 5 seconds or something bad will happen, or just giving bad advice. I don't do YouTube full time, but just make these videos for fun, and want to show you all a really useful strategy that I use to improve at Fortnite that I think will help all of you out too. So what is the strategy you might ask? Well, if you watched some of my past videos on this topic, you may have heard me briefly mention it. Of course, click the i card up here if you want to check out those videos. But this method is to review your mistakes when you die. Okay, so this may sound simple or just boring, but hear me out here. When you are playing Fortnite and you die, unless it is due to some kind of weird glitch or something, it will be because you made a mistake. So in theory, if you were some kind of robot and didn't make any mistakes when playing, you would never die or lose in Fortnite. So improving comes down to a game of finding what mistakes you make and how to avoid them. Now one thing in particular that a lot of players experience when trying to improve at a video game is getting to a point where their improvement begins to plateau. For example, let's say someone just started playing Fortnite a few months ago, over time they steadily get better and better at the game as they continue to improve and continue to learn. But eventually they will get to a point where they understand most of the core functions in the game and have developed most of the basic skills of the game so their improvement begins to plateau. From my experience, this seems to happen to nearly everyone. Except for who, of course, the professional players. And that is because this only occurs to someone when they are repeating the same mistake over and over again. They stop trying to improve and they stop learning. So learn from your mistakes. But that's hard to do when you don't really know what mistakes you're making in a game. So how do you find that out? Well, one strategy that I find insanely helpful is creating a Google document or something similar and keeping track of every game you play, how many kills you get, and what happened to lead to you dying or possibly winning in that game. Or if you feel like working really hard to improve, keep track of every fight you get into while playing, what the outcome of that fight is, along with other core details and information about that fight. And the reason for this is to find out what mistakes you make that lead to your downfall when playing. For example, if by following a strategy, you find that you often die due to getting sniped, then you can easily improve from this mistake by jumping more and running and avoiding standing still out in the open. Ideally speaking, by using this strategy, you can get a solid idea of what mistakes you keep on making, then you can simply learn from those mistakes and continue this process as you get better and better at Fortnite. Another phenomenal method you can use to find and improve from your mistakes is through recording your gameplay. By doing so, you can watch over some of your best and worst moments when playing and see what you do that leads to you winning or losing a fight. For example, if in a fight, you get completely destroyed, you can look back on your footage to see what the opposing player did to defeat you. Or on the other hand, if you played really well in a fight, you can look over that footage and see what you did that led to you winning. Now in terms of how to record your screen, you have plenty of options. Personally, I use screen bits for my Windows 10 computer, which costs only around I believe 10 ish dollars and is on the Microsoft Store. Though if I were a monster, and instead tried playing on my Mac, I would probably just use QuickTime Player since it came pre-installed. On consoles, including Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, you can use built-in functions to record clips of a few seconds or minutes of events that are about to occur or have already occurred while I'm playing. However, if you want to record full games, you can always use capture cards or for a more affordable alternative, software like OneCast that mirrors your game to your computer. And finally for mobile players, iOS devices can pre-install with the ability to record things, and for Androids, 
I am personally not sure, though I believe you can cast your screen onto a computer or download some sketchy app off of the Play Store. Anyway, if none of those methods still don't work for you, you can always just use replay mode. But despite whatever way you slice it, you should easily record your screen so you can look back at your gameplay while playing. Alright, so now that you've identified your mistakes, it is time to improve from them. But how can you do this? Well, it should come at no surprise to you that you can do this through practice. But if you want to get better quickly, it must be through the right kind of practice. So first of all, if you keep on dying due to building mistakes, these are the easiest kind of mistakes to improve on. And this is done by simply heading into a creative world and practicing different builds that you fail on. But for any other kinds of mistakes, you will likely need to practice against real players. Of course, definitely do not do this through games of solos, duos, or squads, since in game modes like that, a huge portion of your gameplay involves harvesting materials and getting loot. And since you were sent back to the lobby whenever you die, you will inevitably spend a fair amount of time between games. So instead, practice in the game of Team Rumble, or even better, in a creative game. That way, you can go from fight to fight really easily without needing to worry tremendously about harvesting materials or looting. And when practicing in these modes, be sure to keep in mind what mistakes you're working on to improve. For example, if you frequently lose shotgun fights in these modes, push shotgun fights and practice your accuracy and building in them. I know it's tempting, but do not get carried away with just trying to eliminate as many players as possible because your goal here is instead to improve. And sometimes that may involve intentionally putting yourself at a disadvantage in a fight to practice on particular concepts. And of course, if you do need people to play with in game modes like creative, feel free to make friends down in the comments. And like I always do, I'll be hearting all the comments that I see of those who are looking for friends to play with. Anyway, these game modes are phenomenal to practice and improve in, and as long as you focus on improving from your mistakes, you will get better at Fortnite in no time. Now, if you enjoyed this video, want to learn how to get better at Fortnite, how to win in Fortnite, and how to improve at all sorts of the Fortnite other things, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on anything, and help us get to 50,000 subscribers. Remember, our goal is to get there by the end of the year by clicking here. And to support me, you can use code STORMRANGER and buy my merchandise by clicking here. Finally, click this card right here for more information about how to improve in Fortnite. But that is all I have for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.